every night I know there's no hesitation No longer sleep I'm hesitation You're sitting in front of the bed Embrace me with you I guess if I had everything I would be too perfect Friendship. What is it? What does it really mean? I'd like to know. We're soon going to have our citywide test coming soon. <laughs> and uh, what's so funny? Nothing, Miss Johnson. Nothing, Miss Johnson. Did everyone get their test? There you go, Sasha. Thank you. That. Keep working on it. There you go, Salima. Thank you. Can you spend some more time with me after school so we can get to some of the questions and answers you might not understand or you do understand? Yes. Okay. Raymond, I think we need to improve our attention in class so that we can do better in our grades. So would you spend some time with me this afternoon? Yes. Thank you. Queen, I know you can do better. I think you and Raymond need to start communicating and listening class because you're a very good student normally. So we're coming with these tests and I expect you to do much better, okay? Lisa, you did a very good job. You got an A on your test. That means you did a good job and I'm proud of you and keep up the good work. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad to have you as a student. yesterday, Lisa.
the end, are those kids still picking on you at school? Oh, I knew they were for real. Well, they must have did right in the end. But, Mom, I got an A plus on my math practice test. Did you? Yes, and I think I'm going to do very good on my CY test. Oh, I know you're going to do a beautiful job. Thanks, Mom. But guess what? I'm making your favorite for dinner. Spaghetti? Yes, spaghetti. But go ahead, go on upstairs and get cleaned up. Okay. Honey, you know since tomorrow is your birthday, it's about that time we head on down to Kimball's and get you those tap shoes that you need for your dance class. Kimball's? Yes, Kimball's. It's about time you need your new tap shoes and it's long overdue. But Mom, you don't have any. Lisa, this is fine. This is for you and I'll handle this. Thanks, Mom. Yes, I think they'll like it, like this. Part it down the middle. That's it. Now, I pull it tight and roll it and roll it. That's it. See? I like it. I look nice. There. Yes. but we've spent so much money already, it's time to go. And besides, he doesn't look new at all. His button has come off, the strap looks torn. Come on, honey, it's time to go.
Did you see that hole in her sweater today? kidding me that Levon Ames is the truth he's gonna take us all the way to the finals let me tell you that right now look look that man his three-pointers are the truth he's gonna take us I'm telling you he's gonna take us Man, please. No, no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you right now. He's going to take us all the way to the finals. I'm telling you. See that, man. I'm telling you. He's going he's gonna to take us out there. Oh, man. Come on. Mm -mm. Oh, no. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. His three-pointers are out of this world. Believe that. Oh, hold on. I just heard a noise. Oh, oh. Anybody here? What are 
are you doing here? Maintenance, man. I'll never put anything away. Cute, though. Hey, Lisa. I haven't seen you for a while. Hey, darling, would you do me a favor? Would you go to the store for me and get me some milk for my coffee tomorrow? I really appreciate that. Here's the money. Keep the change, sweetheart. Thank you, baby. Lisa! Hi! Just the person I wanted to see. Lisa, do you mind running around the corner and getting me a soda pop today? I just didn't feel like going. My knees bothered me today. I don't know how much it is. But whatever, you keep the change. Hey, Lisa, how are you, sweetie, today? It's nice to see you. Oh, here I am doing my planting. It looks like an early spring this year. Oh, by the way, could you do me a favor? Could you run to the store and get me a loaf of bread? I really appreciate it. Thank you, sweetie. Here, here's the money. And keep something for yourself. Mr. Dill. Dill. No. Mr. Percy. Pinkins. Ms. Foster. Soda Pop. Just five dollars. Okay? Four fifty nine. Pick it five. You see here your change too. Thank you. Uh -huh. Wait for receive. I give the receipt. Here you go receive together. Thank you. No Yes, Mom, I am still looking for another teaching job. Yeah, um, I'm feeling pretty positive about my interview at uh, Westmoreland University. They asked me to come to have an interview, and I'm feeling really positive. Well, they're looking for another professor for their music department. A part-time job at the coffee house just isn't paying enough right now. No, no, Mom. You and Dad have done enough. Things will get better. When Ben gets home from Afghanistan, you know, Lisa and him and I will be a family again. Thank you, thank you, Mom. I need you to hear that. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. No, no, no. I love you more. Okay. Bye-bye.
Lisa, honey, what are you still doing up? Just thinking that this might help the things. Lisa, you do not have to worry about this. This is just a temporary situation. I will work it out. Um, when your dad gets back from Afghanistan, we'll be fine. It'll be you, me, and your father. And everything will be okay. Alright? Yes. You take this. This was given for you because you do so many things for others. You care so much for other people. But you take this and use it for yourself. Get yourself something special. And just know that everything is fine and everything will be okay. Young lady, may I help you? Um, yes. I'm looking for a very special bear, and he's nowhere to be found. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we sold him, or maybe he's somewhere else in the store. I don't know if we might have sold him, but... He might be in a different part of the store. Oh, there he is. Oh, wonderful. But he's missing a button. That's okay. He's really what I want. Well, honey, he's missing a button, and this strap is kind of torn. You sure you wanted this bear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, do you have um, something to pay for him? I saved his money in my piggy bank, and my mother said I can use it for whatever I want. Well, that's wonderful. All right. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. Okay. Thank you, dear. Can I put him in a box for you? No, thanks. No, ma'am. Okay. You just want to carry him? Yes. All right. Enjoy, dear. Thank you. Bye-bye. This is your new home. I know you're going to like it. It's not as big as that big apartment building, but it's just the right size. Look, I even made you your own bed, and it's just the right size. I like you just the way you are, but I would think you'd be much more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened.
better. I think I'll call you Corduroy. You must be a friend. I've always wanted a friend. Excuse me for a moment, class. I would like to speak to several students now. Raymond, Salima, Eva, would you come to my desk now? I'm calling the three of you to my desk because your grades concern me. We're at the middle of the school year, and you're not doing well. I've noticed a change in your behavior, and I feel it's contributing to your grades. I'm going to assign you a peer tutor to teach you twice a week, 20 minutes in the library, and you will attend. Lisa, will you come here, please? Yes, you need her. Despite your teasing and whispering, she has agreed to help you improve your grades. Do we have to? Maybe this isn't just a good idea, Miss Johnson. Do you want to do well in my class? Yes. Well, then you have to. Is this understood? I want you to do well in my class. I believe all of you are intelligent and can achieve. And furthermore, you should be proud of your own achievements. You're intelligent and you can do the work. There will be no more teasing in my class. You will stop as of now. I will be watching you. Is that understood? Yes, Ms. Johnson. You will meet Lisa in the library for 20 minutes during the last period. I will be there and so will you.
dig as fast as you can. Roll it, head it, put it in the oven for me and you. Inside.